It's Chantal from Hothead Stitches Journals. I'm here to show you another journal that will be going in my Etsy shop. It is made with Tracy Fox's new digital kits. Um, this one is called uh, Historic Navigation. So it's maps and it's super cool. Um, this, the cover is actually Tim Holtz paper, however, cardstock, sorry. And it is eight and a half inches by five and a half inches wide. So in centimeters, it is 21 and a half by 14 centimeters. So this is what it looks like. There's a beautiful key with um charms at the top and it just kind of clips in there on this on this twine and then the back is and it's all stitched around and this just comes off like so here's a couple of the tags that i have made with her kit so let's go in so this is the front pocket another one of her beautiful um, digital kits or the pic photographs in it. Couple tags, Oops. extra journaling, a little paper here. These just fit right in there. And then there's another one back here. Also, and then this is a belly band. I decoupage this on it. So it becomes a nice little journaling card. And there's another one here. This is just from an old um, book that I had. I don't even know what the name of it was, but I ended up just using it and making tags with it. Here's one of her. This is from Tim Holtz paper and I put tea dyed paper on the back. All the paper in this journal has been tea dyed except for the maps. There's an England map here. And then there's a little paper with a little mini tag from her kit. Paper ruffles and then another one here. I kind of didn't, tried to keep, oops, it's not supposed to be two there, but Tried to keep it as simple as possible, this journal, so that you could bring it with you. There's lots of room for writing. This is one of her little envelope. I kept it um, not glued, so that way, if you wanted to write in it, you could. It could be like a hidden, but you can also glue it if you want to. So this is one of the envelopes in the kit. Just clips it right here. And then this is an old map that I had. I don't even know where it comes from, but made it into a tag. Uh, doily in the middle. I love how this, um, this tea dye turned out. Some more map paper. There's a little, um, I made this tag into a pocket. I have got music paper and some cheesecloth around, if you can see that. And then this is just that same paper that I made into a tag. The little paper tab for added interest. And then I just put a doily in here. This is a pocket, like a tuck spot. There you go. <laughs> Another tag. These are all maps. This is a tuck spot. Now this, when I printed it, there are more papers. I printed it smaller, so I ended up just thinking, well, I can always just, it's on tea dyed paper. Um, you've got it there for extra journaling that you can use wherever. And then this is just a tuck spot. She's got more paper in her kit too that you can print. I just, um, ran out of ink so I didn't include it so sorry about that but 
there's always that option and uh, lots of room for um, writing there's beads here at the bottom oh, there you go this is the one that needs the tag anyways another <laughs> it's another journaling little tag you can I just left it kind of floating so that way you if you want to use it wherever you want it use it you can just trying to figure out where this clip went <laughs> and then this beautiful image I've had for a while and it was just from a magazine and I just thought it was so pretty so I decided to use it in this one and I made it into a side pocket and then a yeah, side pocket on this side and then there's a pocket up here with some of Tracy's beautiful. Oh, this one's from Tracy's kit, and this is Tim Holtz. They just go back here, and then this guy is actually backed with, um, what's it called? Sewing paper, like, for patterns, and it's got a beautiful map inside tucks right in here and then I just put clipped so that you could find it <laughs> easier and then more paper for writing this one tucks or opens up but it's actually attached so more of that map this one is a tech spot sorry more of the vintage Paper, I guess, not really vintage. It's from an old, um, like, school map books. And then there's another one here. Okay. Doily, more Peter paper. Another little one right here. More map paper another envelope that if you and this one I didn't glue either because I figured that you could write in it or use it whichever way you want or you can embellish it or you can also use it just as an envelope you just have to glue this side and this side and it becomes a beautiful and then you can pick whatever you want on your travels if you choose to and it just clips right here And then this one is another one of decoupage uh, napkins on a index card. So that just tucks in there. And then there's a little ticket that I forgot to tea dye. I mean, ink. So I will do that before, but it goes just right here. And then there's more decoupage here. This napkin, I thought that was kind of cool. It's right on the paper. And then back here, this little extra journaling and you can color the designs too and this is another one I made it into a pocket so it just you can just tuck that like that and then okay, let's come on. and then you've got this back pocket is a little different <laughs> um, but it is a tuck spot so you can tuck I might, I'm actually going to tuck in some more paper for writing that I will tuck in there. But it just goes in there like that. And that is that. And that will also be in my Etsy store probably today, a little bit later, if everything works out good. So thank you so much for stopping by and uh, checking it out. And uh, I'll probably be back with another flip through soon. Um, so take care and thanks a lot. Bye.